Hello everybody, bonjour tout le monde, welcome back to Games and Gutenberg, where we have another, yet another, yet another, fanatical birthday mystery bundle, celebrating their birthday. And so we have a fanatical special birthday guarantee this time around for their birthday mystery bundle, where they are promising, promising, promising i'm saying it three times because they are promising that um they will deliver up to 20 games that you have never received before from a previous fanatical mystery bundle and if we don't if if we receive a dupe today they will swap it out for a different game absolutely free i suppose that they are swapping it for a game at their discretion don't know if they're gonna have another one of those mystery boxes as uh like a randomized mystery key perhaps that'd be interesting um so that would be yeah i it's going to be interesting to see what happens here because they have another footnote right down here which i don't have it highlighted but they say guarantee does not cover different editions of the same game therefore you might receive a different variant of the same game so hopefully you don't have exactly what they are outlining here you receive doom eternal and then you receive doom eternal deluxe edition yeah let's hope that doesn't happen here if you are interested in rolling the dice pulling the gacha lever or rotating the gacha uh, uh handle uh, to try your luck at the fanatical birthday mystery bundle 2023 yourself there is a link affiliate link in the description below where you can grab one of these bundles yourselves if you do buy one of these bundles you will get a uh, birthday bash extra box as well um uh, skip animation what is okay let's not skip the animation i hope there's gonna be like confetti and and uh, fireworks and cake and everything yeah if you had a cake you know leave a comment uh, you know what kind of cake would you want on your birthday doesn't have to be a cake could be a pie could be some other baked good what would you want on your birthday um as part of this but i'm interested in getting this started open this gift box oh there is some confetti i get a one dollar prize to spend on fanatical hey every dollar matters so thank you thank you for that it's a uh, it's better than just die already or i am fish right but let's get started with this um they say you're not gonna get duplicate key from what i had from previous bundles let's see first one lawn mowing simulator i do not mind this because i think it is on my list it's not on my list but who doesn't like mowing their lawn afterwards um Experience the beauty and detail of mowing the great British countryside in Lawn Mowing Simulator. The only simulator that allows you to ride an authentic and expansive roster of real-world licensed lawnmowers from prestigious manufacturers Toro, Skag, and Stiga as you manage your business. Mostly positive reviews, but uh, not bad. Not bad. All right, Stronghold HD. Uh, did I felt like I had that already, but I guess not. There's a 20. There's apparently okay. There's a different version. There's a 2012 version. All right, the original Castle Sim Stronghold HD allows you to design, build, and destroy historical castles. Engage in medieval warfare against the AI in one or two single-player campaigns or online with up to eight players. Oh, one of two. Oh my goodness. One of two, not one or two. And that is like, there's maybe two campaigns here. Just ignore them, though. <laughs> Which is the next game. Just ignore them. I think there's a spooky game. It's a scary one. Look at that. There's blood coming up from the eyes already. I'm scared. Uh. One night can feel like a lifetime of pain, suffering, and horror to a child. Do you have what it takes to survive the night? 
play as an eight-year-old child who is tormented by monsters in his house. Your choices make his future, which... Well, hold on. I'm not English thing right right now. Your choices make his future, which lives can be saved or ended, which lives can... Okay, well, I'm gonna move on. On to the next one. Got a million ways to get it. Choose one. Lost castle. Lost castle. Uh, maybe if I don't have that, maybe Lost Castle Deluxe Edition on Steam. Uh, looks like it, it could be, uh, okay, see product details. Is this, a, is this the same game that we're talking about here? Could be. Je suis très confus. Lost Castle is an action RPG beat-em-up with roguelike elements and randomized dungeons for up to four players online and local. Nice. Let's keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Everhood. I mean, so far, I don't have... I don't have these, which is, which is good. Another adventure RPG, nice, all right. Pixel graphics. An unconventional adventure RPG that takes place in an inexpressible world filled with amusing musical battles and strange, delightful encounters. Do it simply, you are in for a ride. Oh my. <laughs> All right, ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Which reminds me of the game DEFCON. Um, if you've ever played DEFCON, very fun game, or very, very interesting game, I should say. ICBM is a real-time strategy game of nuclear destruction. Research new technologies, build up your nuclear stockpile, and use a combination of ships, planes, and missiles to strike at the heart of your opposite opponent's cities while keeping your population safe from harm. Yeah, this really reminds me a lot of um, Defcon, which is a great game, great game, great game. Punch Club, um, where did I see this before? Ah, yes, 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 there is currently a sale for Punch Club on Steam that you can, uh, pick up a, as part of the Tiny Build Publisher sale, 3k. Uh, Drain hard, fight crocodiles, and find love. Earn your place in the Punch Club ranks and discover who brutally murdered your father. In this choose-your-own-adventure boxing management tycoon. Oh, potentially a horrible time to take a breath of uh, air. <laughs> anyway, terrain of magical expertise. Terrain of magical expertise. Comedy. We all like comedies. Comedies are always great. And a full voice of voice actors. I should stop reading ahead before I read the actual thing. Terrain of magical expertise is a game about a game. Take on the role of a white hat hacker in this non-linear story-driven RPG adventure featuring an original turn-based combat system, hundreds of unique enemies, and a full cast of voice actors. Do all it takes to win the campaign of champions. Champions. Do all it takes. All it takes. The Wild Eight. I think there's some drama about this. Something about survival and then games being abandoned. But, um, yeah, well, hmm. 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 The Wild Eight is an intense survival action adventure set in the frozen wilderness wilderness ooh, of Alaska. That's how they pronounce it there. Team up with friends in online co-op or go solo. Explore the mysterious land, craft weapons, and fight to live another day. Survival crafting. Mm. 
Oh, dark side detective. I believe that is... Somewhere in my list, somewhere. But there is a demo available for Dark Side Detective if you are interested, and it's part of a narrative games convention, Adventure X, up to 80% off. Oh, tell me more. Grab your trench coat, tune your sixth sense, and join the Dark Side Division as they investigate the outright bizarre, the downright dangerous, and the confusing cases of Twin Lakes. Flesh hungry tentacles, Mafian zombies, and the occasional missing sock are no match for the Dark Side Detective. Overwhelmingly positive reviews for this one. That is, uh, good job. Good job. Iron Cast. Uh, I do feel like I got Iron Cast before. Is not much of a description. Uh, it's very short, sweet, to the point. Puzzle Quest meets FTL, faster than light. In this steampunk Victorian era roguelite. All right, match. It's a match three strategy in the steampunk. Mm -hmm. All right, survivalist, invisible strain. What does it feel like I? It feels like, it feels like, for some reason it feels like I got this well, somewhere else before, a long time ago. Hmm. It's ten years since the infection started. Long established settlements are collapsing one by one for unknown reasons. Survivors are running to the hills to escape, hoping for safety in remote places. As another refugee, you're here to carve out a new life for yourself by any means necessary. <laughs> oh my. Zombie survival. Yeah, all right. Heavy burger. Oh, heavy burger. This is, uh, it's got like a, all those like mini games in it, I believe. Arcade mini games. Yes, it does. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, blast, dodge, and charge your way through an array of classic 1980s Data East arcade machines. One to six players, one to eight, one to four, I can't read. One to four players can battle against time-honored characters in a nostalgia-inducing collage of retro set pieces from Burger Time, Karate Champ, Lock and Chase, Heavy Barrel, Side Pocket, and Bad Dudes. Yeah, I, I remember playing this before. Uh, I think it was with Split Nova. A while ago. Uh, remote play, remote play. Any remote play? Yes, there is. Remote play together. Perfect. Hey, well, we got our next uh, four player party game. White Knight. White Knight. Got a warning page, oh my. The dark will reveal all. Explore the macabre past of an old mansion in the 1930s and solve puzzles of light and shadows in this fully black and white survival horror. Players are trapped in this nightmare where darkness is a constant threat. But that's not black or white right there in the middle. That's a flame. It's orange. It's, I'm not fully blind. I'm not fully colorblind after all. Yay. Cool. Uh, we all love our adventure horror noir puzzles. Oh, look at that. Ah. Okay, next one. Metro Last Light Redux. Hey, hey, hey. Not bad. Uh, Metro Last Light Redux. It is the year 2034. Beneath the ruins of post-apocalyptic Moscow, in the tunnels of the Metro, the remnants of mankind are besieged by deadly threats from outside and within. Mutants stalk the catacombs beneath the desolate surface and hunt amidst the poison skies above. 
yes yeah, definitely one of those uh, post-apocalyptic fps's that you should play i don't think this is the newest newest one um i think the newest newest one came out maybe only two years ago so turn up boy commits tax evasion hey i have this somewhere else Yes, yeah, but hey, let's let's learn what this game is about here. Why not? Play as an adorable yet troublemaking turnip. Avoid paying taxes. Solve plantastic puzzles. Harvest crops and battle massive beasts all in a journey to tear down a corrupt vegetable government. It is one of those cute, uh, Pixel graphic games, especially as it's tagged. It's got some comedy, it's got some crime. Tax evasion is always bad. But this game uh, was available in different platforms as well. Uh, Amazon Games had it for free. Epic Games Store gave it for free as well recently, uh, I believe. And so, you only got a few, few left. Uncharted Tides, not to be confused with Uncharted. Uncharted Tides, Port Royal, or Port Royal, which one is it? We don't know. Our dead men tell, tell no tales, in tales about an infamous ship, the Cursed Rose, probably cost renowned sailor Mason Owens his life, or as his daughter, you can only do one thing, find the damned ship and learn your father's fate. I could. Or I could. Oh, this is, it's a hidden object game? Hidden object? Yes, it is. Perfect. All right. Well, we know we love our hidden object games. Stronghold Crusader HD. I do feel like I have this on a different platform already, but, you know. Question is, is this a sequel to... Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it says it in the first line. The highly anticipated sequel to the best-selling Stronghold, Stronghold Crusader HD, throws you into historic battles and castle sieges from the Crusades with fiendish AI opponents, new units, four historical campaigns, and over 100 unique skirmish missions. Not only is it a city builder, but it's also real-time tactics and just medieval... Oh, well, that's all sand. It's just sand. Sand everywhere. And siege and warfare. Oh, my. Mutazione. Mutazione. Uh, well, you know, if there's a deluxe edition out there, hopefully it's not the next one, because that would be very disappointing. But... Here we go. A mutant soap opera where small town gossip meets the supernatural. Explore the muti mutazione, <laughs> mutazione community as Kai, as she cares for her ailing grandfather. Discover magical gardens, new friends, and old secrets. They can survive an apocalyptic meteor strike. But can they survive the small town drama? <laughs> yeah, we'll find out if they can survive their small town supernatural drama. Oh, hey, this scene is almost just like from Princess Mononoke. Where's the Howl's Moving Castle? I always mix the two up. Shame on me. But the final game of this is Impulsion. It's supposed to propulsion or implosion. Ooh. Implosion is a fast-paced first-person platformer designed to play with your nerves and reflexes. Make your way through 25 levels of increasing difficulty by manipulating, manipulating, manipulating physics to your advantage, shooting force fields to slow down or speed up yourself and the environment. Sounds very, very disorienting for me. But we shall see how it fares. Oh my, look at that. Looks very busy. It could be too much for my brain. But yeah, that was um, 21 Keys from Fanatical Birthday Mystery Bundle Sale 2023. Happy birthday, Fanatical. Um, yes, the first bundle that you purchased, 
will not have any uh, duplicates off of Fanatical. Um, if there are any, as Fanatical says, uh, they have a guarantee where they will honor and swap it out for a different game. Um, so hopefully you do not run into any duplicates yourself if you choose to uh, purchase a bundle yourself. But if not, that's okay. You've enjoyed some of my shot of Koida and hopefully some of the descriptions of these games yourself. Just a, a glimpse of what is available in that package. And they are saying the fanatical birthday mystery bundle 2023 is jam-packed with whopping 400 plus indie and triple a games and we've seen just a fraction of that but uh yeah are you going to choose to to grab one yourself who knows but uh yeah 